Good morning, Julie from RV Tips and Bits. Here is a very quick video on how to apply the 3D adhesive tiles in your trailer. I've used these multiple times and they're very attractive, uh, very solid. You can wipe them down um, and they're it's pretty easy to put on, but because you're putting them on in a trailer, um, and the weather conditions can be extreme. I do advise some additional adhesive to be put on the back and I will go over that here. We decided to trim it out with some molding so we use this half inch molding. So you want to get some of this Gorilla Heavy Duty um, adhesive caulk. T you'll need a tape measure, uh, also a pair of scissors, and a utility knife to um, trim out the boards. And finally, it's always good to have a level, a small level, and you can make sure everything's going in nice and straight. Always have some wet rags or paper towels ready for you to use to wipe out excess. So there's two types of tiles in the packet. One you'll see that says overlap here on an edge, and then the other one is has no overlap tab but they're just uh, open you want to make sure you keep track of those because it's really important which ones you use first you always use the one that has overlap here for the first set of tiles that you put down and then the other one you will be applying on top of that tile so always use the overlap here tile first you only have one shot at this, so you want to use your scissors and possibly use some trace paper at an area that may not be square to get the exact cutout that you want to use. Then you want to remove the adhesive on the back of the tile and get your Gorilla Glue ready where you'll put little pea-sized drops all around uh, the area, the edges, in the middle. Not too much, but enough to cover um, the entire area with separated about an inch, an inch and a half apart. Then you'll apply it to your area with one side down first and then rolling it across. I wipe it down with a wet uh, washcloth and that way you can wipe away any excess caulk that might have oozed out of the edges but press down on it really hard all the way around real evenly. Plan out real good where you want things to start and end and what it will look like. We should have probably been one row lower to meet the back trim, but I'll be adding molding later so that might help. Okay, now let's look at adding the trim. We chose to add the trim because of condensation and just the overall look as well. And so we did use the Gorilla Glue on the back of the trim. We measured it, uh, put pea-sized dots, and then pressed it very hard just to top of the last layer of the top of the tile. And then we caulked it out with some exterior mildew proof caulk. Wipe that away. And there we have it. All the trim done on the top, on the bottom, all caulked in to be very sealed tightly. And we think it came out pretty good. We'll give you a quick little video tour here so you can see it in action. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Here's a little overview of the project and we do have many many more projects coming up with upgrades for the tab um, also for functions of the tab such as uh, country fill dry camping the Aldi system and a lot more so stay tuned subscribe and hit that notification button and really appreciate it thank you